You're overcomplicating it. When it comes to making money with AI, if you're like I was, then you probably think the best way to make money using AI is to make a book or make videos or even sell AI agents or something like that. But I've discovered a much simpler way it's easier to sell and lots more people want it too. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the most underrated way to make money with AI and why it works. Stick around and I'll show you how to create these and even how to create a basic payment link and sales page so you can literally start selling this kind of digital product within an hour after watching this whole video. Hey, it's Jim, and I'm sure you've probably seen all these videos on YouTube just like I have. You've probably seen products for sale out there showing how to make money with AI by setting up stuff for small businesses, by writing and publishing books on Amazon, by creating all sorts of social media stuff and using AI to create everything. If you've tried any of that stuff, you probably know that even though AI can do a ton of the heavy lifting, it's still a lot of work on your part to come up with the ideas, to come up with the prompts, and to get it all together into a sellable product, all right? And so what I wanted to show you in this video is something that just takes a step back, simplifies life, and takes advantage of the fact that there's a gazillion people out there in the world who just want some basic information. And even though they can easily go find this information out on the internet, out on YouTube, they just want somebody else to put it together for them and deliver it to them in a way that's easy to consume. All right, so let's jump over here to my screen and we're gonna look at one of the things that I've been creating a product around and I think you're gonna love this. Right now, I'm over on amazon.com. So what I've searched up here is Windows 11. All right, so now you might be thinking, what on earth are we gonna create a product around with Windows 11? You'll start to see that after all the software and all that stuff, you'll start to see some products here like Windows 11 for dummies. You probably know the dummies books, all right? I know them, I've read lots of them. And what do they contain? Just a bunch of generic information that basically, if you use Windows 11, for example, you can find all the information that's in this book in the help in Windows 11. Like you don't even have to pay for it, but people buy these books like crazy. Okay, so here, I just wanna keep scrolling because we're gonna get into some even better stuff. Windows 11 for seniors, okay, that's interesting. Windows 11 inside out, all right, same topic. Another one for seniors, so we're starting to see a little bit of a trend here. You can see how there's a market here that we can target, right? Here's the one that I think is really the most interesting. Windows 11 quick reference training tutorial. Okay, 695, right? 226 reviews. This is like a one page guide that's just got a bunch of info and shortcut tips using Windows 11. So we don't even have to put this on Amazon and go through all of that trouble. All we have to do is get this into a nice document, put it into PDF format, and we can start selling it through our own PayPal link, okay? And that's what we're gonna do today. Let's do go ahead and go back over here into Canva, okay? So there's lots of different ways that we can do it. So we can certainly ask Copilot, we can ask ChatGPT for the shortcuts and stuff like that. And that's what I've done here. I'd like to have a list of all the best keyboard shortcuts for Windows 11. All right, so here's some generic ones. I can just paste these into my own document. I would just use a Google document, okay? The other thing that I can do if I want this to look nicer is I can actually just use Canva. All right, so since Canva now has an AI thing built in, then we can actually have this stuff looking nice without even having to like do anything. All right, so here's what I did. Here's what it looks like. It looks pretty sharp, right? Mastering Windows 11. They came up with the title, not me. 25 essential tips, right? So I just asked, and I'm gonna show you how to do this in just a second. I just asked their magic write thing, which is their AI tool in Canva, for shortcuts for Windows 11, okay? And so look at that. Now all I would have to do is hit share download this as a PDF, right? And boom, we're off and running. Okay, so that's a product, right? And all I have to do is save that, put it somewhere where I can send it to people, the link, and they can download the document after I sell it to them. And what we're gonna do is just create a design. We're gonna go to Docs, okay? And 
let's just do an auto size plain document. All right, so that's what they look like. There's nothing in them. And it just starts up here with the headline. And all we have to do is just touch on this magic right button. Okay. And then we can say, please give me a big list of keyboard shortcuts for Windows 11. Boom. Okay, so it's going to go do that. Now, that's a pretty basic document. All right, so it's going to just create all that, see how it creates the header for us in the background. Beautiful. Okay, it's going to list all this stuff out. Then once it's done, we can just say insert. Okay. We can look through this. If we wanted to, we could actually dig into this a little more deeply. All right, but I'm going to just accept that. Right. And then you can see it puts a header on there. It looks nice. Unlocking efficiency. Perfect. Okay. And so now we can PDF that. Now, what we could do to make this offer even better is we could add on to this like Excel and Word and PowerPoint and Power BI and all these other applications that are under the Microsoft umbrella and we could offer somebody shortcuts to all of those apps in one go, right? And we could do this, as you can see, for Mac OS, right? Or we could do this for the Google Documents or the open source open documents. So there's really no limit to how many different apps you could do this for. And basically, we just compile a bunch of these little shortcuts and tips and tricks together into a few little PDFs and we sell it for seven bucks, right? Just like they're doing over there on Amazon. All right, so how cool does that look? Now, as promised, I'm going to show you how to create a simple sales page where you can sell this digital product start making money online, all right? There's not gonna be any need for you to sign up to any kind of funnel builders or page builders or anything like that. You're not even gonna have a website, okay? Just want you to put that stuff out of your mind that you have to have all of those things to start selling because you don't, okay? Lots and lots of people, multi-millionaires down to the lowest end product sellers are using this format that I'm about to show you and it works wonders, okay? So you can use it too. We are going to go and create a new Google document, and I am just having their AI help me to write a sales page, all right? So I'm just going to paste my prompt in here. I'm just going to touch on the little Gemini thing over here for Google. Okay, there we go. Here's what we can do. It's got a nice headline for us. Okay, I love this, actually. All right, so I'm just going to copy that and paste that in here. And we'll just make that heading one, all right? And probably we could center that. If I hit the little thing here, I'm just going to put that in the middle. Hit enter a couple of times, all right? And then we've got a nice sub-headline here. I'm just going to copy that, put that over here, all right? Once again, I'm going to center it. And we'll probably make that heading two, uh, maybe heading three, all right? Boom. Okay. And then here is the copy. All right. I'm just going to copy that. Hit Control C. Come over here onto my document. Go ahead and paste. And there we go. All right. So now we've got a basic sales page. And this is actually really good. Uh, feeling lost and confused with Windows 11 if the answer is yes. Now we could have actually asked this to tailor it a little bit more towards seniors and stuff like that because it does seem like on from our research on Amazon that there is like a target market there for that, but we don't have to, right? We don't have to. Um, we could even do something as simple as like this, right? Seniors, and then we call out to them, okay? Because that's always a good thing, okay? Now, if your target market was students or something like that, a different age group, students, stop fighting Windows 11, or how about coaches? How about that? So it's never a bad thing to focus your message into a specific group, especially if there's like a group that you can speak to just from your past, like work history or your experience and that kind of thing. Don't hesitate to do that. All right. Now we can do that. We'll just leave that seniors. We're going to do 
we're just going to accept this kind of as it is. Now, there are a few things that we have to do here, like adding a price, right? So our price is going to be, we'll just eliminate all of that little text right there. And we'll say today's price. How about we say something like 1995 and we'll do a cross out thing on that and then we'll go 695. Okay, so we'll be just like that one that's on Amazon. All right, so I'll highlight that and then I will look for the little format text thing here and we'll do a strike through. All right, okay. We can even center this if we want and make it a little bit bigger. Okay. We could even make it like red font or something like that so people can really see it or highlight it. Okay. And it's saying call to action button, but we're not going to have a button. All right. We're just going to have a link. All right. I'm going to center that thing too. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll just say something like click here to buy now. Secure 228 bit payment processing. Okay. Again, we'll just center all of that. Kaboom. All right. And then what we're going to do to get our payment link, I'm just going to use PayPal, right? You could use Stripe. You can use PayPal, you could use Payoneer, you can use anything that will let you set up a payment link. All right, I don't know where you are in the world, but just use whatever works in your location. And so I'm gonna go over here to PayPal. All right, so I've just logged into my account, right? And I'm just gonna look for the thing. You don't have to pay anything for PayPal, like you could just sign up. They just charge you a fee when they process payments, right? So that's how they get paid, okay? And then you can hook it up to your bank account so that when people pay you into PayPal, like you can transfer it to your bank or you can just leave it in PayPal and then start paying for stuff out of PayPal, right? We'll just create a payment link and button. All right, so I'm just gonna click on that, okay? And then we can do a payment button or payment link and QR code, all right? So we'll just create the product. It's a single product, and this is our Windows Ellipse. Okay, product ID we don't have to give. We'll just say it's 695 or 696. We do not need the customer shipping address because we're not going to send them anything via the mail. There's no shipping fee, there's no tax rate. We'll just assume all of that stuff's built in. Okay, and then customize thank you page. Now, what we will do is basically here. We'll send them to a custom URL, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we are going to take our PDF documents from Canva, all right? We're gonna download those, okay? Put those someplace, put that in downloads, and then what we'll do is actually just go ahead and upload those into a new folder inside of Google Drive. Okay, so if you don't have Google Drive, just go ahead and set up a Gmail account and that automatically gives you a 15 gigabyte free Google Drive, okay? And so just type in drive.google.com once you are all set up, once you have a Gmail address. Okay, or you could use uh, OneDrive if you use Microsoft stuff, anywhere where you can store files online like Dropbox, okay? And then what we'll do is we will just upload our document here, okay, into this folder. All right, so I'm just going to say file upload. I just right clicked in here, file upload. There it is, Windows 11 shortcuts, okay. And now it's inside of this Google folder. What I'll do is actually share this folder because then we can put all the PDFs in there. All right, so let me go back here. We'll go to Windows 11. We'll go to the folder and go to the three dots. Okay, we'll go to share. Okay, and then what we're going to do here is we are going to share it with anyone who has the link. And they can be a viewer, okay? So then we'll copy link. Once you've got that, then that is where we're going to send them from 
PayPal. So once they pay and check out, then it'll automatically take them to this Google Drive, okay? And if the buyer doesn't have a Gmail account, it'll ask him to sign up and create that stuff. No big deal, right? We don't have to worry about that. Maybe that's not the most ideal thing, but we don't have to solve every problem, right? We can do that stuff later, okay? So there we go. We just say build it, and then boom, here is our payment link. Okay, so I'm going to copy that link. It's just this one right here. We'll go back to our Google document. Okay, I'm just going to highlight that text right there. And then we are going to turn this into a hyperlink. Okay, so we're just going to look for the little chain link thing here. Insert link. Just hit paste, apply. All right, and I'm going to make this text a little bigger. Right, so I want this to be like where people can see it real easy. And that is that. Okay, so then we can just click in here. All right, that's going to name our Google Doc. All right, and then once again, we'll want to share this. And then once we have this document ready, that's our sales page. Okay, so it doesn't cost us anything. We didn't have to write sales copy. We're just, once again, just like we did with that folder, we're just going to make it so that we can share this sales page. All right. And then we can basically put this on Facebook, we can put this on Instagram, or just about anywhere that you want to share it. Any of your bios online, you can put it on YouTube and like video descriptions, you could send it to your friends via email, any of that stuff. Now you've got a product that's live that's for sale for $6.95, and you are making money online, all right? So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and preview this. Let's take this document. Let's go check it over in our incognito windows. Okay, so this is where we can pretend where what it's going to be like if you send it to somebody else, right? They can read this. They can click here to buy now. All right, and let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. Boom, Windows 11 tips, 696, Express they can pay with a credit card or they can pay with PayPal. All right. And that's how that looks. And once they pay, as we know, they're going to get taken to that folder where those PDF documents are so they can get their download. You're off and running. All right. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope that helps you out. Give it a if it did. And listen, I'd love to have you as a subscriber to the channel as well. So do that while you've got a chance. And we will see you in the next video. Listen, before you go, check out one of these other videos that's popping up on the screen right now. And we'll see you next time.